The 911 call came in around 10.50 p.m. <laughs> it's a female hyperventilating. Okay, calm down. Where are you at? And then the phone goes dead. She's pinging on Kenner at 25.95, and she's extremely out of breath. She sounds like she's running. That we got first responders arriving to an unmaintained county road, 25.95. They don't know what they're getting into as they're going down this dark road in the middle of the night. 38, we're out with that female, 25. They see a white female flagging them down. What's going on? My husband, he went to go help me. My Jeep is stuck in the back, around the corner, and he's been shot in the head. Please. I... Is he OK? I need to know if my husband is OK. Dispatch calls me on the cell phone, said, hey, I think they need you out there on scene. I want to check her out, make sure she's OK. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You want a little bit of oxygen to help you out? She was just frantic. She had blood on her shoulder area, and uh, it's all over her leg and her shirt. What's your name? Chasey. Chasey? Uh -huh. Chasey what? Pointer. Tell us what, what, what happened. I heard a shot, and the jeep started rolling, and I didn't see anything, and I saw, I saw a shadow. That's all I saw. No. I was it your husband? Is, what's his name? Robert. Robert, Robert Pointer. Robert he's a, Pointer? Yes, he's a firefighter. That's why I have to on just, me. Just breathe for me. That's why I have to on me. I arrived here right around midnight. So we're walking up with our flashlights. At this point on, you can start making out a silhouette of somebody still in the Jeep. The Jeep was covered in blood. There was no indication of a struggle. He's around, he's around the corner. We had a witness, Chasey Pointer, and that there was somebody loose, you know, at large that had killed her husband. And I could see Robert. And as soon as that, that shot, he slumped over into the passenger seat. I just wanted to be okay. Was he dead or alive? He was dead. This is a case about sex, lies, money, and murder. <laughs>